So you want to print amazing models from your Prusa 3D printer using your smartphone. There is a way that you can also use your smartphone and print amazing models right out of your Prusa 3D printer. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, hello, this is Zachary and you know, it is fun to use your smartphone in order to send prints to your 3D printer. But how does it work? Well, I used recently my smartphone to set a model from printables to my mobile phone and from my mobile phone to Prusa Link. Well, I have a Prusa Mini that is connected with my network. I went to printables, I found this. This is a uh, very nice storage wall solution that I'm going to use in a future video. So if you are not subscribed, subscribe. For this model, I didn't use my computer. I didn't slice it with my computer, but yet I have this model in my hand sent directly from my phone with Prusa Link Beta to my Prusa Mini. And I printed a lot of these with it. Well, after the first one is sliced, you can use Prusa link to reprint this or directly from the menu because it is already asking to reprint it yes or no after one is finished. For this tutorial I'm going to use a small model that I can send directly to my Prusa Mini. So first we are going to the settings menu. Then we are going to scroll all the way down to network. There you make sure that you are going to get a IP address, write that down and make sure that everything looks as it's supposed to. And then after we have done that with the ethernet and getting an IP address, then we are going to Prusa link. My firmware is 4.4.1. Now here we are going to Prusa link, click on it and then enabled on and you can generate an API key. You need to write down the current API key. That one you are going to use to log in into your Prusa machine using Prusa link. Please make sure that if you are going to print with this machine that you are standing on this screen because if you are in settings or doing something else you won't be able to send something over and that is so far as my experience was using Prusa link beta. And so this is Prusa link. After I have entered in my API key that I got from my Prusa printer I will get this. So you have on the bottom, you have your IP address from the printer and you also have printer status idle. The nozzle temperature is 18.7 degrees. The heated bed is like 90.4 degrees. Printing speed 100% and the Z height is 38 millimeters because I recently have used it. Depending on which kind of filament you are going to use for your model, make sure that that is preloaded. So if you mainly print with PLA, make sure to have the right PLA PLA spool loaded into your 3D printer. Next to my dashboard from Prusa Link, I have the website printables. I click on it and there you have the website. We are going to 3D models and here we have everything that you normally would see on a normal website. What we are going to do, we are going to apply some filters because we want to send the model directly to our printers with also the right G-code. We are going to select the printer. In my case, after Prusa Mini, we, uh, we are going to use the G-code files. Yeah, okay, I can print in Peggy so that I don't need to change it. But if you want, you can use PLA or PET G, you can all select it. 0.4 nozzle, Prusa Mini, PET G, include user print files. Now we select that as well. So this is our selection of the filter settings. So like mentioned, you can always go back. This one I can take away because I don't use that filament. And now you are going to see which kind of models and parts that you are going to use. And you can also send a 3D Banshee right there. So there are a lot of models of course. So we can use this uh, flower pot. We click on it. Like you can see, we already have here Prusa Mini and Mini Plus. So download, then we go to the right model and you need to make sure that you are going to select the file that is for the Prusa Mini. We have two variants. One is one hour and 28 minutes and the other one is two hours and 52 minutes. That is a big one. Let's, uh, let's go for that one. We click on that. 
We are going to download it. It's by the way, a PLA model. So I need to make sure to switch over from Patty to PLA. So let's do that. Oh. Now I have loaded the PLA filament into the Prosa Mini. Let's send the model over from my iPhone to the printer and start the print. Now we click to choose a G code file or drag it here. Well, we are on my mobile phone, so we are not able to drag it, but we can click on it. And then we are going to choose file. Here the model is, we click on it. We wait until it is loaded. If correctly, you will see a little file. So the request was successful. Now it is loaded. There is a faster way to do this. Of course, we select it, start print, confirm. Of course, as you can see, it did ask to make sure that the print bed is empty, clear, so that there's no model already on there. Now the print is going to start. In the meantime that the 3D printer is printing the model, a special thanks for these amazing Patreon supporters and YouTube channel members. They are supporting this channel financially. You can also do the same thing and joining the Z3DP printing gang. Check the link in the description for Patreon and check out the YouTube channel member tiers. That way you can support this channel. Now that the face is done, let's uh, create another model. Also here, same kind of thing. Okay, this bottle open opener looks great. Let's uh, download and print it. Download, we take for the mini, take the coin less, download. Now we are going to the dashboard. Yeah, confirm, click, coin less. Let's wait until the file is loaded. Okay, almost done. 99%. I didn't know that a bottle opener file was so big that it takes so long. Can't print right now. So the conflict is because it is still on repeat print. So on, and now we can start a new print. Because it is already on the storage, storage, now we are going to this one and start print yes and now the model is going to be printed there you go yeah and since the name is very long the screen is also a little bit uh, thinner yeah i know so and there you have it an amazing model downloaded from printables as a direct g-code for my Prusa Mini and then from the downloaded file to print this model using Prusa Link on my Prusa Mini. Very nice, very cool and with this method you don't need to have a computer or a PC to print models from printables. Just use the pre-sliced G-code file for your Prusa Mini or your Prusa Mark III, Mark III S or many other Prusa machines that are connected to your network. 
Let me know in the comments, what are you going to print using this method? Let me know in the comments. If you made it this far in this video, thank you. You are amazing. Please like this video, share this video with other people on social media, and I will see you next time. Peace, bye-bye.